So, now let us do a last minute revision on the subject of physics for class 12 CBSC. So, we will take up the chapter number 5. So, that is magnetism and matter. So, here we will cover some important formulas at a glance. So, we have number 1 the magnetic dipole moment. So, given by m equal to q m into 2 l and f is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into q m 1 m 2 divided by r square and the magnetic field at the axis is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into 2 m r divided by r square minus l square. So, raised to the power of 3 by 2 and equivalent b is given. So, here so the magnetic field at the equator is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into so m divided by r square plus l square. So, raised to the power of 3 by 2 where l is far less than r and b axis is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into 2 m divided by r cube and also further is also equal to b equivalent is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into m divided by r cube and the torque is given by m b sin theta and the work done w equal to delta u and that is also equal to minus m b into cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 <coughs> and m is given by a, so n into i into a and further mu l is given by n into e h divided by 4 pi m e. Phi b is given by the magnetic flux phi is given by b into d s and that is equal to 0. So, b b divided by b h equal to tan delta and further b is equal to square root of b h square plus b v square. b h is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into 2 m r divided by r square minus l square and that is further equal to mu naught divided by 4 pi into 2 m divided by r cube and mu is equal to b by h and that is also equal to mu naught into 1 plus we have g m and further so mu r is given by mu divided by mu naught and that is equal to 1 plus g m and g m is given by i by h and that is also equal to c by t so which is known as the curie's law and b is also equal to the magnetic field b is also equal to mu naught into h plus i and you can see the graph of the intensity of magnetic of magnetization as a function of h by t so this graph represents the intensity of magnetization as a function of h so, h bar t and the g t graph for a diagrammatic of a diamagnetic material is as shown here. So, it is so parallel to the x axis. So, here you can see that the graph of g m so with respect to t for a, a diamagnetic material. And similarly, you can see in this particular graph the g m t graph for a paramagnetic material and the hysteresis curve for a soft iron core is as represented here and also the hysteresis curve for a ferromagnetic material. So, thus we have covered some important and last minute revision of the important formulas and graphs. So, covering this chapter number 5 and made a last revision and take a note of the important concepts. Okay, thank you.